Dude, oh my god, no way. I'm literally getting 400 more FPS on Feather Client. What? Guys, today I have been given exclusive beta access to the brand new Feather Client. That's right, the owners have been very kind and gave me access to try it out to its fullest potential. What that means is I will be comparing it with Lunar Client to see which client gives me the best FPS and which one has the fastest opening speed. So before we start, let's showcase this beautiful launcher and look at the futures. So this is what the menu looks like. It's a pretty normal menu. You have your Minecraft account here. I can click and choose which alt account I want to log into. You have access to the store, the cosmetics, the Twitter and the Discord. You can even invite friends since they're in beta. Normal news page for updates and whatnot. And you can choose your version here. And here, guys, it says Launch Forge. That's because this client, you can install any mods you want. But before we get into that, let's just check the settings. You can choose the RAM, where your Minecraft is installed, what you would do with the launcher, resolution, and repair the game. Pretty basic settings. So here, why does it say Launch Forge? That's because, guys, there is a mod option. You can install or uninstall any mod you want. That's right, guys. They have a mod store, and you can literally choose from any mod. And you can look at the version of the mod 1.8.9, 1.12, and it's really easy. Let's say you want not enough updates. You click on it, add. And there you go, you can toggle it on and off. It's that simple. I'll remove it because I don't use this mod personally. And guys, if you want a mod that is not here, here's what you do. 1.8.9, that's the version I play on. And you can add your own mods. And it opens up a folder and you can just drop the mods right in here. So me right now, I have Optifine installed, the replay mod, I currently have it toggled off, and scrollable tooltips also toggled off. But yeah, I think it's really crazy how you can literally choose any mod you want. Especially for Skyblock players, I know a lot of them play on Forge because Lunar Client, Badline Client, they don't give all these good mods, but literally on Feather, you choose what you want to install. There is just so much. But guys, now I think we've talked enough about the launcher. Let's see what it looks like in game. And here it is guys, the main menu of the game, you can choose between single player, multiplayer, or just quit the game. So we're going to bring your attention here in the top right, we have the account selector, once again you can choose between your alts. We have the feather mods, we're not going to go there just yet, and your normal Minecraft settings. So, why don't we just go in game and look at every single mod that we have available to us. Alright guys, so I'm going to press right shift and this is what it looks like. Feather settings in the middle, you have your scoreboard on the right. <clears throat> and I've gone ahead and done my settings similar to what I use on Lunar Client. I use toggle spread indicator, FPS indicator, my ping, as well as my potion counter. Um, so I have the same setup pretty much as um, Lunar Client, just so we can see an equal representation of what mods I use and how much FPS I have, okay? We're not gonna look at the FPS just yet. I know it looks like I have a lot of FPS, but that's because I'm literally in an empty world. We're going to go in game and we're going to compare it with the same map, literally the same map to see which client gives me an average higher FPS. So when we open the menu and we click on feather settings, this is what comes up. We have all these mods, pretty much like a normal badline client, a normal lunar client. But here you have all your mods. OK, so we're going to start here. We have animations. Everyone loves that. You can choose between 1.7 and 1.8 animation. And here I chose damage indicator chroma. It's pretty cool when you hit someone, the damage indicator instead of being red is like any color. But the, the mods I use are, are pretty strict, but you know, you have your normal Hypixel mods, auto tip, auto GG, anti GG if you want. And you can enable a delay of t in ticks, I assume. So, you know, you can have the, the level head display, uh, prefix. And which, something I, I liked actually thinking of this prefix, when we go into toggle sprint, you can literally choose what it says, um, which is something I was surprised because I don't think this works in Lunar Client. So you, you can choose, and I think you have to pay for this option in Badline Client, which is even worse, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I don't know how that client is still surviving. Anyways, um, yeah, you, you can literally rename to what you want, which is pretty cool. And, and yeah, they have categories. So for your HUD, you, you can have, you know, your keystrokes, for example, and a lot of people, I know a lot of people are fans of uh, keystrokes. So here I can just put them in the middle so you guys can see. If we go to keystrokes, it's a HUD plugin or mod, I'm sorry. And see, there's a lot of customization future. It's, you can have names if you want, jump, uh, arrows, which is pretty cool, or just none and have a CPS counter um, on top of the normal CPS counter. Uh, they, they, they do have a CPS counter right here. 
so yeah guys in the hud section they pretty much have everything you can wish for in a hypixel they have the, your, your classic hypixel mods they have a oof mod i think when you when you kill someone or when you die i'm not quite sure and your normal pvp mods armor status cps combo display particles you know if you want to have a particle multiplier um why not i i personally like it you know you can play with a lot of settings like in potion effects or just any mod if you want you can even add mods to your favorites like animations let's say you you change your animation settings a lot you can add it to your favorites and here boop favorites and there you go here it is and also you can decide if you want to see more mods or less mods you know um th this is more compact you can see more mods at the same time maybe you want to tame ch change your time it's pretty cool you can also have profiles so here i'm using my default profiles and uh, but i could clone it and call it something else default to save and go ahead and remove my fps counter remove my custom crosshair and there we go i, I don't have fps i don't have my custom crosshair and if i don't like it i can always go back to my profiles enable my default profile and there we go i have my my normal profile now okay guys now we're gonna do something very interesting we are going to test how fast the launcher loads up okay so i'm gonna close the launcher and as soon as I press enter here, we're going to see how fast it opens and we're going to compare it with the Lunar Client. So you should hear my keyboard here. Three, two, one, go. It's not quite open yet. We're going to give it a little bit more time. Stop. That was just below six seconds where the red button was clickable. Now we're going to do the same test, but with Lunar Client. So with the Feather Launcher, about 5.5 seconds. Let's see how fast it takes for a Lunar Client to open, okay? Three, two, one, go. We're gonna wait for it to load, and there we go. That was just below four seconds. So Lunar Client, honestly, it, it is, I, I have to say this, the facts, it is faster than the Feather Launcher to open the client. And Lunar Client has a pretty big um, launcher too, where you can see the servers, you can see your settings, which is, you know, about the same as uh, Feather Launcher. So now we're gonna do the ultimate test. I'll launch the Lunar Client, I will see how long it takes to load, and we're gonna do the same thing with the Feather Launcher, because let's be honest, how fast the launcher opens, whether it's two seconds or five seconds, it doesn't really matter. Let's see how long it takes to open the game itself, okay? Okay, three, two, one, launch. Okay, so my Lunar Client took exactly 21 seconds to launch, which is pretty good. Uh, maybe you guys had a little bit of a black screen, but that's because my OBS couldn't pick it up quite on time, but it was launched. I'm using the timer on my phone, so it's not, you know, the, the most accurate thing, but it's still pretty accurate. So now we're going to close Lunar Client and see how fast the Feather Client launches. All right, guys, we're going to launch the client now in three, two, one, launch. And time is over. So that was just under 30 seconds or above. I'm sorry, just above 30 seconds. So there's definitely improvements to be had um, with the Feather Client. Keep in mind, guys, it's all a beta and the owners have told me that they're still working on the FPS improvement. It's not over. It's just the beginning. That's what they told me personally. So now that we've compared launch speeds, we're going to compare the FPS in game for both clients. All right. So we queued up in Mindman, the map Citadel, and we're versus this guy over here. And by looking at the FPS counter, my FPS is not dropping below 500 and it's not going above 580. So it looks like we have an average of, you know, 500. That's the benchmark we have right now on the Feather client. So yeah, as I let this clip roll, it is pretty obvious that the FPS is between 500 to 550, which is a pretty good benchmark. So let's go try it on Lunar Client. Okay, so we're on Lunar Client right now. And as you can see, my FPS in this clip it goes to 500 fps but here we're just stuck in a 470 450 that yeah, we're getting lower fps um but it's not by a big margin it's about 50 to 100 fps difference and um but it is definitely noticeable yeah as I, as I look at the numbers 450 460 470 on the feather client we never went below 500 fps so it, there is a clear gap in difference Okay, guys, this is how much FPS I get standing still in the Mindman hub. As you can see, it's in the 600, 680, 654, 650. So we can say my FPS is around 640 to 680. Oh, okay. It went down a little bit. And that's how much FPS I get on Feather Client. 
it is higher though it is definitely higher i remember with lunar we were hitting like 640 642 650 right here i'm, I'm about to peak at, like at 700 like easily yeah this is insane i've been standing here for quite a while now and the fps is literally higher than lunar and look guys one more future i, I wanted to showcase replay mod they have replay mod you can literally download replay mod and then i don't know let's just connect to this hypixel replay that i've had in my folder for months you can just load it and it's a bad worst game of me playing I'm not, I'm not the best uh with replay mods so i don't really know how to use it but um yeah, as you can see it works we can go on my island here and see that it's me that's my alt account and um okay well i have good bridging skills but yeah it, it's working replay mod which is really nice now before i end this video i just want to give my final thoughts about this feather client overall i have very positive things to say about this client it has a working replay mod it boosts my fps and honestly the GUI design is really nice looking. So I personally believe that this client, when it releases, it can do some major competition to the Lunar client. Um, I think it'll be nice to see a new client be born and have more options than just either Lunar or Bad Lion. And let's be honest, Bad Lion is kind of dying. So right now we only have Lunar to play with. But that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys another day, all right? Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.